Friday. Today is August 7th, and I hope everybody's having a good week. Got to start the day off with my new coffee mug. Compliments of Doug. Happy Stitches Embroidery. Who's also responsible for these new Badass Peak Cycle hats. And getting the Hot Wheels style Peak Cycle hats back in stock. Beautiful work as always. Appreciate everything you do, Doug. Thank you so much. Thank you for the mug. One of two. I'll be using the other one later in the week. As for today, we're going to talk about kickstands. Can we really talk about kickstands? Kickstands? A whole episode of kickstands? <laughs> about to find out. Let's go ahead and hit the shop and see what's happening with peak cycles. Kickstands. Ready for this? We have six kickstands up here. Six, what are we doing with six kickstands? Well, people ask me all the time where they should start with kickstands or what they should purchase or what the options are. And it's a pretty hot topic, mainly because there aren't a whole lot of options. So even though it looks like it does, what I have on this end are your over-the-counter retail stock kickstands. You have a fancy double kickstand here, and then on this end are your options for a custom cruiser. I know we're kind of far away, so I'll move the camera angle up as we get over here. But for now, we'll talk about the stock kickstand. This here is basically a bolt-on kickstand, designed to bolt under the frame, and flips up like this, bolts on the underside, nothing fancy. This here is what's called an integrated kickstand, and the frame usually has a receiving end for it. It slides in like this, there's a special tool for installing these. It suppresses the spring, has a small pin that holds kickstand in, and there you go. This here is a double kickstand, which also mounts under the frame. Both ends on one side of the frame, like a normal kickstand, and when you drop the kickstand down, it opens up. And what that does is it raises the back wheel up and it holds the frame up straight up and down versus leaning to one side. When you're ready to go, flip it up like a normal kickstand, ready to go. Pretty cool. Now moving on to Custom Cruiser. <laughs> It's no secret that most people are using what's called the Nubo kickstand. And one of the biggest flaws with this kickstand, if you don't know already, and you'll find out soon enough, the hard way, is that this kickstand is designed to mount on the chain stay. And no matter how much you tighten this down, just the weight of the bike, you'll leave your bike, you'll go and get a bite to eat, or go party with your friends, and while you're gone, this kickstand is slipping. No matter how much you tighten, and when you tighten this down, you're also kind of ruining the cosmetics of the powder coat and paint, and you know, there's not a whole lot of options. But as this is slipping, you come back out from whatever it is that you're doing, and your bike is on the ground. I've heard that story so many times. So I offer these weld on tabs, which basically represents this end of the kickstand and what you do is weld these on your frame grind off this rivet pull the kickstand off and you're going to reinsert the kickstand onto these tabs i know it seems a little confusing right now like i said i'm going to move the camera angle up so we can get a better idea of that i sell these tabs for 15 dollars a pair or 25 dollars for two plus shipping and the reason why i'm telling you all this is because as we get into the higher end you can kind of compare your investments and know what you're getting into. So let's go ahead and move the camera angle up with this and then we'll move on to the next. So here we have the Nouveau kickstand. This here is a sleeve for smaller diameter stays. And to me, that's just gonna make it slip even more being nylon. However, most people don't really use this. Most chain stays in custom cruiser world are a big enough diameter, so I just ditch that. Again, these tabs that I offer pretty much mimic the bottom portion of that clamp. And what you'll do is you'll grind off the back of this, remove the kickstand, weld these onto the frame like that, which will look like this. Reinsert the kickstand and you're no longer using this clamp. So there you go, that's the Nouveau kickstand. 
with my weld on tabs in a nutshell. And again, I sell these for $15 a set or two for 25 plus shipping. And the kickstands themselves, they run depending on where you get them, $15, $20 for the kickstand. So you're in anywhere between 35, 45 bucks total doing this setup. I'm telling you this so that when we move on to the higher end, you can kind of compare and figure out what's best for you. Moving on to the next kickstand, this is basically a beefier version than this, in my opinion. And this is a Rough Cycles kickstand. And <laughs> I'm laughing because the QC guy who inspects the Rough Cycle frames, something got missed because there are receiving ends for this clamp on Rough Cycle frames. The problem is, is that the receiving end for the bolts is on the underside of the frame, which means once you mount this to the frame, it's like this, <laughs> literally, or the opposite direction. Regardless, it's the angle of it is totally useless. So I found somebody who was selling these and I made a tab for my tail dragger. This is what's on my tail dragger. I invested into this prior to really knowing or being exposed to the Tim Sanders kickstand. Once I found out about these, I mean, that's all I've been using. So I'll give you a close up of this and then we'll move on to the Tim Sanders kickstand. So here's the Rough Cycles kickstand. Pretty decent. As mentioned, it's basically a beefier version of the Nuvo. And with the issues of the mounting area for the Rough Cycle frames, there could be a whole slew of these out there with no home. So if you get your hands on one, fabricate yourself a tab, and these will work just fine. The Tim Sanders kickstand and before we go on I apologize I'm sure you don't mind hearing your name over and over Tim but the name of the company is Michigan Built located in Michigan Tim is the ringmaster for Michigan Built and before we go on with details about this we're going to do a quick recap from last week I welded one of these onto a customer's frame we're going to run through the whole thing and when we come back I'll give you more on these now on to project number two and that is adding this Michigan built billet kickstand as a weld on tab right here. Gonna weld it to this tail dragger type two, except for we have a problem. Done got a flat all on its own. So I have to swap that wheel out so the frame is level. I can weld it on down here. It's gonna kick back like this. Let's get that wheel swapped out and get started. I cheated a little. <laughs> Put that angle iron under there to represent the tire. We got the frame leveled out here. The nice thing is we already have this kickstand on, which is already giving us the stance. So it's not gonna take much for me to mock it up. Don't need that second person to help me out. So let's go ahead and get it moving. We have one side tacked. Before I tack the other side, I'm gonna pull the kickstand up and make sure that it's running in line with the bottom of the frame. We don't want it to be coming up like this or down like this. Once we have that lined up, we'll tack the other side and then pull the kickstand off to weld it in. See how we're looking. Run it uphill just a tad, so I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit like that. Perfect. Tack the other side, pull the kickstand off, get it welded. super solid. One thing you want to make sure of when you're mocking this up is that you can turn the wheel the opposite direction 
and the bike doesn't want to fall that direction. You want enough lean, not too much, but you want to be able to turn the wheel both ways. I think I'll leave the second kickstand on for Jeremy. Have some fun. <laughs> Back in the office, quick recap. Tim does send instructions with these kickstands, and if he's going to stress anything, I'm going to say it again here, is that once you tack that tab to the frame, before you weld it on completely to remove the kickstand, this tab will get so hot that it will run it. Also, the one that was shown in that segment was not high polished. This one here is a personal one of mine. That's why it's all wrapped up. Thought I'd give you a look. Beautiful. It's like Terminator. <laughs> now for the big question, how much are they? Well, nothing billet is cheap. And these kickstands run $110 plus shipping. And you're gonna be like, oh, I spent a hundred bucks on a kickstand. And I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why I think they're worth every penny. One is they're beautifully done. Secondly, how much do you have invested into your bike? Now, I'm not just talking about money, I'm talking about time, hard work, blood, sweat, tears. And wouldn't it just bug the hell out of you to watch the whole thing just fall to the ground? Do yourself a favor, you've already invested as much as you have, drop the extra hundred bucks and get yourself a quality kickstand. If you're not gonna go with the Michigan built, then at least pick up the tabs for the Nouveau. Before we sign off, quick shout out to Remco out in Holland. The shirt came all the way from Netherlands. Another amazing artist in the bike scene. Thank you for the stickers, much respect. That's pretty much going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed today's version of what's happening in the cycles. And until next time, make it a killer day! So, very stable, different look. And then when you go to take off, it goes back up like that. Also provide these weld on tabs that mimic backwards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's also responsible for these badass peak cycles hats. And